Hello everyone, my name is John Terrell. I'm an application engineer with QTE Manufacturing Solutions and today I'm excited to present to you our sixth installment of our 10 part series of What's New in Mastercam 2024. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to look at the first PowerPoint slide and in here uh, our process whole toolpath for 2024 basically it's uh, aimed at uh, cutting programming time uh, going ahead and creating efficient toolpaths based on uh, toolpaths that we've already saved or processes that we've already saved in our uh, our process whole template and uh, I'll show you how that templates created as we move along into the video so let's go ahead and get started I'll bring in my lower radar mount in Mastercam and as you can see, I've already brought in my mill uh, for my machine. And the only thing really that you have to do to make this happen is go to tool pass, process hole, and you're going to get that's it's basically the same screen you almost get when you do a drilling op. What I want to do is just zoom in, and I'm going to hit my control key, and I'm going to go ahead and pick these holes. It's going to pick every one of them that's that size. On this part and that's in that plane of course and what I've got here I've got the 157 holes or 4 millimeter whichever you, you prefer and what I want to do is I'm going to sort them by tool to so I don't have a lot of tool uh, so I don't have a lot of tool changes I'm going to go ahead and spot the holes and then drill the holes uh, and at that point we go ahead and we go the next step and Mastercam wants us to pull in uh, our operations library, so there'll either be nothing here, or if you've already pulled it in prior, it'll probably be populated and won't have this red uh, line around the, you know, around the the window. So we'll go ahead and pick the library, and here is our template. So I'm going to pick the sample process drill library, and I'm going to open it. And what happens is it, it goes ahead and brings that uh, library in, but it also brings in our process. And if you look here, we probably have a couple of different processes. We actually have three. We have just a uh, spot and drill. We have a spot and ring. And we have a spot, drill, and tap. I'm going to go ahead and let's pick, the, let's pick the spot, drill, and ring. So you have three tool paths here. And... The good thing is, what makes it nice is you can actually come in here, right click on that particular toolpath and go to edit. And you can edit these just like you would in a normal drilling path in Mastercam and save it as well. Now, one thing that you have to be aware of, uh, process hole will only work with solid models and that have history associated with them. And I'll show you, if I go to my solid tree, here is my, these are, these are all the, the holes that are in our, our radar mount, and what they have, they have the history that is associated with them. And if you want to, I can right click and go to edit parameters, and we get our holes dialog come up. And one thing I want to also explain is that these, uh, the sizes, these have to be exact to what the holes are in your model that you're actually programming. Uh, they won't work if you don't get them, match them up uh, basically ex exactly. So now we've got that. Let's go to our next uh, operation or our next process that we do. And uh, this is our linking parameters in our three axis. And what I'm going to do, we've got a couple of options here. We can set a clearance plane right here. I'm going to go ahead and set my minimum height and I'm going to go ahead and set 1.0 in there and then I'm going to come down I'm going to set this to a hundred thousand and at that point all we have to do is green check out give it a second here to process and it pulls in those uh, three tools those three tool pads actually the spot drill and ring so now let's go ahead let me dock this back here let's go ahead and back plot these 
and as you can see it works flawlessly and the big thing is uh, very minimal you let them basically master cam look at the feature in the solid and pull the process that matches those particular size holes and there you go let's take a look at the templates that's been created by master cam um, here here we're looking at we have different templates this one is an inch blind this is an inch through a uh, metric through I'm sorry metric blind and back to the inch through uh, these are just plates that have different processes within them and as you can see if I go to my solids tree we can actually you click on them and you can actually see the ones that as far as the, the history is associated with them and we can actually edit parameters inside of the solids manager by just right clicking and going to edit parameters we can change sizes and these will actually be this is your template so when you when you pull a process in to master cam for a particular hole as long as that hole matches up perfectly it will actually pull those processes in that are related to that toolpath and that would be right here so if we go to a 7 16th 20 we have a spot drill tap drill and a tap we can actually also set that up to where it just does drill and peck and that has to be set up in a separate one of course it'll have to be a separate tool path but it will pull in that process as well and as you've seen in the previous portion of the video we have different processes based on how many we've created in the template so let's go ahead now and look at how process hole is handled within the multi-axis realm okay let's see how uh, process hole handles multi-axis holes in Mastercam 2024. So let's go ahead and we'll get started on this. I brought in my machine, got a tool pass, got a process hole. It's asking us to go ahead and pick the holes. I'm just going to come in here and pick these. So now we have all of our holes picked. We're going to sort by tool again. This time I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a avoidance area so the tool doesn't violate the top of that where the holes are at. So I'll end my selection. I'm going to go to the next step and we, we already had the uh, library pulled up for our three axis so it actually had it up already and if it didn't all you would have to do is just click on that folder come in here and pick your sim sample process library and open give it a second and there we go once it brings it in, we can go ahead and look at the processes that it actually brought in with it, which were four of them. So let's do the, let's change that to a quarter 28 tap. And you have your spot, tap drill, and tap. And you can actually edit them again right here. As I showed you earlier on the three axis side, you can do the same here. So let's do our final step and let's create us a safety zone on this and I don't want to use a rectangle I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick my solid in my selection and I want to change that to a and then I'm going to change this to minimum volume and I'm going to put point 0.1 here and then I'm going to green check green check again and let's go ahead and create this tool path there we go Spotting, drilling, 
and tapping. And that concludes our video today on Process Hole. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you use the utility in Mastercam 2024 and have a good day. Thank you very much.